Finally, virtual backgrounds are now available inside Google Meet without any third-party extension. I'll show you how to change your background, how to troubleshoot it, and how to start creating custom virtual backgrounds for your next Google Meet video call. And we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zeus. On this channel, we produce weekly content for creators, educators, and marketers, all in an effort to help you spend less time making more videos. If that sounds like you, then consider clicking that subscribe button now. Google Meet is now on par with other video conferencing platforms with their newest addition of virtual backgrounds for video calls. Virtual backgrounds reduce visual distraction during video calls and helps ensure more attentive and productive meetings. The new feature is rolling out for G Suite accounts and personal accounts alike, and it's compatible with Chromebooks as well. It also works without a green screen and for background images only. There is currently no support for virtual video backgrounds inside Google Meet without installing a Chrome extension called Visual Effects for Google Meet. I've got a full video showing you how to use that extension in the card above. Also, support for virtual backgrounds on the Google Meet mobile app for Android and iPhone is in the works. And if you're new to Google Meet or are looking for additional resources to enhance your experience on the platform, consider downloading my Google Meet cheat sheet. I'll place a link to that in the video description below. All right, let's dive right into Google Meet to show you how to use virtual backgrounds. Now, you'll have the option to apply a virtual background before a video call or during a video call. Inside Google Meet, prior to you joining a meeting, you'll be presented with this page here, what I like to call the staging grounds. Here, you're able to dial in your audio and video settings before joining the call. Let's hover over this icon in the lower right-hand corner of the video feed for Change Background. Clicking on this will drop down a menu displaying Meet's preloaded virtual backgrounds, which when clicked on, it will instantly apply itself to your background. The default images include office spaces, landscapes, and abstract backgrounds. Pretty cool. But you're also presented with a few other options to blur your background and upload your own background image. Now, to blur your background, you have two options. One, to slightly blur the background, or one, to fully blur your background. To upload your own background image, simply click here and select your file, and voila. Now, you can upload up to 10 or more background images inside here. If your background displays any logos or text graphics, the uploaded image will be mirrored, meaning your logo and text will be backwards. To fix this, you'll need to flip the image horizontally before you upload. And if you're asking yourself, how do I flip an image? I'll show you an easy way in just a minute. Now, to remove your background image, simply click on this icon here. All right, let's jump inside the meeting by clicking Join Now. Okay, now to replace your background during a video call, you'll click down here on the More Options menu, then click on Change Background. A side panel will appear, similar to what we just saw on the previous page, allowing us to select a pre-uploaded background image to select the blur features or upload your own custom background. Now, to ensure your background is being displayed at its proper resolution, you want to be sure that the background image is properly formatted for the video call. Your background images should be a size of 1920 by 1080 in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. It should be at 72 DPI. It should be a JPEG file format and be less than 16 megabytes in file size. And it needs to have a landscape or horizontal image orientation. Vertical or square images won't properly fit inside the video feed. And of course, if your background image features a logo or text graphics, you'll need to flip your image horizontally to prevent it from showing up backwards. The quickest way to do this is to use a content creation browser application called Kapwing. If you're new to Kapwing, follow the link in the description below to sign up for a free account. Once inside Kapwing, we'll click on New Project, then Start with Studio, then Start with Blank Canvas. Adjust your canvas to the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Then we'll click up here on Upload to upload this background image I have for Video Zeus. Once uploaded, we'll click over here on this button to flip the image. Now, we'll click up here on Export and then download the image from Kapwing. Okay, back inside our Google Meet, we'll click to upload a new image. 
select our new background, and there you go. The background displays as it should. Should you not see the change background option available, know that the feature is still being rolled out to all account types in the coming weeks. You can also troubleshoot it by ensuring your Chrome browser is up to date. To check this, simply click up here on the More menu inside your Chrome browser and click on Update Google Chrome from this menu. If you can't find this button, then you're on the latest version. Now, in an effort to add professionalism or fun to your virtual backgrounds, I have a gig on Fiverr where I will design a custom virtual background with your logo inside. I've made hundreds of these backgrounds for companies all over the globe. I'll place a link to that gig below. And consider watching this video next to learn how to use Google Meet like a pro. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, helping you spend less time making more videos.